everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna do the chanel hula hoop purse i did, did think it was uh super cute i didn't realize i did post it in a few groups and i didn't realize how many people wanted the tutorial i just did it for fun so uh i will show you this is what i created just to i don't know for the fun of it someone says you should make one and i did it i just did it for the challenge so i don't know i thought it was super cute i didn't do the inside so I will show you, I had an idea what we'll do on the inside today. Uh, there's no right or wrong. You can change any color. You can do different fabric, different color. Um, so let's get to it. So you're gonna need two, the smallest hula hoops. These ones are the 2.5 inches ones. So what you're gonna need to do is take the sticker off as you can see, sometimes it's uh, you just have to find the area where it's open. I would not suggest to paint it with the with the sticker on it because you will have it won't be a smooth finish, and it, spray paint I don't think holds up too well. Plus, you got to get it open. So once you're able to get the sticker off, once you start, it's not too bad getting it off. Now you're gonna have to pull this out, the ends out. Reason for that is you're gonna to need to take the rice that's in it. I think it's rice, I'm not sure. It's little white little pebbles things. You're gonna to have to take the rice out. So once you get it out, I would suggest using some good glue. I wouldn't use hot glue, unless it's like Gorilla Glue or anything like that. Um, just with temperature wise, it might come undone. I use the E6000 glue and you just put the E6000 and you glue them in together and you need the two. So once you do that, I'm actually going to do it the black. I'm actually going to do a satin. It's like black crayon. It's the Rust-Oleum. I got it at Rona. So I'm going to finish taking the stickers off the other one, glue them, and then I'm going to spray paint them and then I'll come back and we'll move to the next step. Okay, well the hula hoops are drying. I have them outside. I'm actually going to make the inside where we're going to stick the material on. So I got the Dollar Tree chopping mats. They're the see-through one. It comes, it's a two pack. So I'm just improvising. I used um, foam board for the other one when I was just playing around, but I want something a little bit lighter. So when you dig in that it's, uh, it's a little bit more flexible than the foam board. So I just have a hula hoop here. I think I'm gonna just make, I'm just gonna cut a little bit taller on the top part here. And then I'm just gonna trace on the outside. I should have that there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it. everybody know that you can actually I have a crafty shopper Facebook page uh, sometimes I put extra little pictures of the crafts when I'm doing them since you can't put them on YouTube the pictures other than doing this video um, if you want to look you can also go back and check that out there sometimes I put a little bit of extra content on there that I don't upload to YouTube the odd time okay I'm gonna just tape the back too. Now with the foam board, I didn't have to do that, but it's really, I don't wanna say bulky, it's just, it won't have any flexibility for the inside of the purse. Like I said, I didn't do the inside of the purse when I did the Chanel. And then a lot of people wanted the tutorial and wanted to see the inside, so I've decided to do that. So now that we have it done, we're just going to cut it out. Okay. 
I'm not going to show you the rest, but I'm going to cut it out and then we're going to move on to how we're going to place the rest of the Okay, so what I did was I end up cutting two out. I end up taping them just using clear tape. Doesn't matter what kind of tape you use. I did one a little shorter than the other, just because when the flap goes over, when the flap goes over, this will be a little bit lower. So it'll be easier to dig in the bag. So the bigger part will be at the back of the purse and this one will be at the front of the purse. Now, the material I use for the original one I made, I'm gonna put these on this side here, is these cute little pillows from DT. I don't know if anybody wants the skew or not. I can show you, hopefully it's in the camera. Uh, they come I think in like teal, pink and white. So I'm just going to rip the tags off and I'm going to show you how I cut them. I've done a couple already only because the way you put your purse and the way the designs are. So if you cut them the wrong way, which I did once the first time around, uh, they won't line up. And as you can see, this pattern is facing down kind of like, I don't want to say diamond pointing down, but the, the shells, if I don't even know what design this is but it's facing down so you want to make sure when you're cutting them that you open it up properly I won't show you on camera but I am going to show you because I already cut one so when you're opening it so if you want your purse this part facing down you need to open it up this way so you take the stuffing out I just used a bag this material is really messy just to let you know the little fuzz comes off when you're cutting it just so you know so when I opened it up and you keep the stuffing because you're gonna need it for the purse I just put it in a big bag already so when you open it up it's gonna look like this I went through and just took off the little ends the this little seam part on here and then when you open it up you open it up, I know it's hard to see, let me see, with those facing down. If you cut it the wrong way, it one will be faced the other way. So you wanna make sure, and I will show you on the purse what I'm talking about. So you want it to face the pattern down. I mean, if you wanna face it up, that's fine. I just think the way the purse flows, I will turn it over on the other side. I attach the piece up here. I had to attach an extra piece when I was making it, um, but you wanna make sure everything goes flush the same way. Now, on the inside, so what I will do, let me just grab this here, sorry. And I just gotta grab something over here to show you. I thought about different possibilities, what I could get from DT to make the lining on the inside of the purse. So the outside of the purse obviously is gonna be the fur, the fun fur. On the inside, these will be a little bit movable, but I wanted a nice soft lining. So the best thing I could find at the Dollar Tree was the satin pillowcase. So I just picked white. They had black and white patterns. They had all different colors. I just figured I'd go with the, the white on white. I opened one up already. Oh, where did I mark this line? I can't see it now. So right now you'll need, I'm looking at now, I'm hoping I'm gonna cut three. I'm gonna do four of these. You might need five, but I won't know until I, cause I'm gonna change it up a little bit what I did, but I think probably four, but I will go over that at the end of exactly what I used. Uh, I believe they'll only be, I'm gonna do double side, I think. Um, still working on it. Uh, I bought two pillowcases just in case, as you can see. Uh, let me take, let me just take the one. So it fits really well, as you can see. So if I were to cut it, where's my ruler? I can show you. I would cut it just a little bit on each end. 
that you have a little bit here. I would cut down straight across here. And then I would just go over and leave a little bit all the way around so that you can, let me do the top here, that you can fold it over and glue it. I'm gonna glue the inside. Actually, I'm gonna start glue, I'm gonna glue the bottom part first. Reason being is because I might put a little bit of stuffing in with the lining instead of on here just to give it a little poof, only a little bit. But the reason I'm going to do this side first is so then at the end I can put a little bit of stuffing in and then seal it. So, oh, and another reason I just want to show you, I cut part of the pillowcase because I wanted to see. Now working with this, when you fold it over on there, it's a lot easier. I found this material really great to work with, even though it's really messy. And I went with a lint roller and a vacuum the last one I did. Now, when you're folding it over and you're gluing it on, it would look better when it's like this as opposed to the other way around. This might have a nice finish here, but if you cut this and put it over this, which I didn't know which way it was going to do, I realized I did a test cut because I wanted to make sure, but this is what's going to happen if you don't do this over this for the seal around it. It's just going to fray. So I decided, okay, well, I wanted to do a test cut on here. So no matter, you're going to have to cut it all the way around. So it makes no sense to leave this and then it's just going to fray. So that's why I would glue that on first. And this is much more easy and doable to just glue it really tight. So when you glue here, like I said, so let me get this cut out. I will put the video, make it go fast forward. I just wanted to explain it first. So the first little bit, I am gonna do the back of the purse first, and then I will do the front of the purse, but the videos now is gonna be a little bit fast forward that I'm gonna do, so there will be no talking. I don't know how to add music yet. I'm still learning myself. Um, so there will be no noise. I know some people have said that there's no music during my thing. I haven't figured out. My son has taught me to do YouTube, so this is still all new to me. But I will do the fast forward part to this until we get to the logo and to the front part of the purse, how I made this.
you seen me do the back of the purse like i said the back it's probably about um i'd say about an inch bigger you can kind of see it here it's about an inch inch and a half bigger just because this will be the part that flips open so a shorter side now this part i just i'm probably might add for at the end i don't know yet but the silk side will be the inside of the purse if you if you can see what i mean they'll be the inside of the purse now i did this one off camera i wanted to show you this one because this one's well it's going to be the same idea so i did the exact same thing i actually glued on the inside the silk um pillowcase for the satin which is on the inside and i did the outside so i was kind of trying to show you here that when you're doing it that you make sure the the, the design on the it's all going the same way that you don't mix up and that's why like i said with the pillows so now i'm gonna cut it here i was gonna try to attach it but i um, i think it's gonna be too many attach marks because then we're gonna have to do the top for it and if you saw me slide this little mat it wasn't anything it's actually another cutting board but i actually glue stuff on it so it doesn't get all over my work area so i stick things under there so don't worry about this mat so what i'll do is i'm going to cut that off i'm going to just glue it lightly there and then we are going to move on to the front of the flip over part of the purse and we're gonna need uh so i've used two cutting boards so far so i have another pack of cutting boards that i actually was going to use the foam but i think i'm going to use the cutting boards again because the cutting boards actually seem like they're working really well so i'm going to do that okay google pause sorry about that so what i wanted to do i totally forgot this before when i shut off the camera so i turned it right back on as you can see it's fluffy here what i did will be flip it this way and then remember all the stuffing that came out of the pillows so it's pretty much your desire how much stuffing you want to have it to look sorry I'm just grabbing it here and I just place it around the corners really well this material works actually really well because it's really it's pretty stretchy so and just depending how much you want to do before you actually flip it over and seal it off. Make sure you stick the same. I've done, I'm gonna look at this one and kind of measure it for the same amount of stuffing so the one side doesn't have more than the other. And that's what I just wanted to mention. Okay, so what I'm gonna do before we do the folding part of the purse, I'm gonna show you. So as you can see on the other one I made, I used actually this this part or stickers the black ones and this is actually a mirror that I got at Dollar Tree doesn't matter you can use anything around maybe you have something at home so I'm just going to use let's see there's a mirror on this part this is this color but I don't want this color so I'm actually just going to use Mod Podge I'm going to do two coats of it and I'm going to paint it I'm probably give it two coats and then after the two coats of glitter, I will put another uh, top coat of Mod Podge to seal it. And then I'm just going to show you what I use for the other one. All I have on at home right now for stickers, I just use these stickers. They were from uh, Dollar Tree or Dollarama, but um, you could use, I'm going to actually use these O's and I'm going to cut them on an angle and use them as a C. And I will use this, the same idea, so I'm going to use the Mod Podge and I'm going to do black on there. What I did when I do them though, being the stickers, I don't do it right on here. I will just, I just do want to cut the back here. I will just pull these ones out like this and I will just put the Mod Podge right on there with the black glitter but when I did it I actually had to do it twice unless you can find some black C's maybe a Dollar Tree R store doesn't carry that many stickers so I can never find them there 
Um, but that's how I did the sticker part. So a few people in one of the groups when I originally for a joke posted this, um, I mean, it was super cute. I'm glad that I posted and I had so much feedback on it. That's why I'm actually doing the tutorial where I didn't do it the first time. But um, really anything, you don't even have to put Chanel. It can be your own initials. It can be pretty much any, any logo that you want on their initials, anything really. So I will do that on the side. So the next part of the lid is just putting these together similar to what we did last time because you need to make sure that it's wide enough. You have to make sure that it's wide enough for the lid on top and one of these will not do. So, so far that's, well, will be the only, so I've used three cutting, three packs of the cutting boards. So I've used six in total uh, pieces, but two come in a pack. I'm just going to force this on this side. And I always just put it in the center instead of moving just a piece on the other side. Now, with the design on the other purse, I actually just freehand it, did freehand with it. On this other one, as you can see, I just did this part. I'm going to make this part a little bit more narrower, and I'm just going to freehand that. I'm going to, I don't even know how big this one is. I'm just going to kind of measure it to tell you if I can find my ruler in my mess here. There it is. Oh, of course, it's not inches. Okay. Now. Oh, it is. So the longest part on this part is I have six inches. So I will try to mimic that. I will use one of these just so I can, if you know what I'm saying, I'll show you what I mean. I'm just kind of get that centered. I'm just gonna kind of make a line here with cutting it and I don't wanna to touch the fur. So I just did two lines on there so I know that's how wide it's gonna be. And basically I'm just gonna go like this. Now, when I put it on the mat, That's where I will want it. And it's not centered. Where's the center of this? It's not centered. So I'm gonna change it here a bit. Kinda use this mat just for when I'm doing stuff, but I still think I want it a little bit more narrower. So I think kind of like that. Honestly, you can do whatever kind of design you want. I still think that's off. So you're looking here. I think that's, that's about it. So then I'm just gonna cut this out. I mean, if you're a really good drawer, I'm not, so I just wing it. So I'm gonna cut that out. So I'm gonna go do that Mod Podge so I can get that, so then we can get wrap up uh, when it's nice and dry for when we get to that part. So also in one of the other plastics, I did have leftover, which you could do it off this one too, and I'll just show you for it's nice to have a reference to show you what I'm talking about. So this little part, which will be glued in underneath, I actually just used actually the pack that the mirror came into just for reference that will go underneath this part once you do it with the logo on it. And we'll be hanging with the material and I'll obviously shape it a little bit better on the corner, but I just used one of the plastics that I already used when I did it. So let me get this cut out. It's gonna be the same concept of doing 
doing the satin on one side and the fur on the other. We are gonna attach material. Um, I may have a little bit more. I don't, I wanna have the material. Well, I'm gonna show you when we get to that park. Sorry, sorry I'm all over the place sometimes when I talk. Uh, but let us let me get this done and I'm gonna start putting the satin and I'm gonna do the fur and then I will show you how to attach, same concept as the other, like I said, and then I will show you how to attach this to the purse and put the actual both sides of the purse onto the hula. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to show you that I actually glued it on the hula hoop. That Now this is the back side of the purse. Now I have to do it a little bit different, like compared to the other one I did. You can't actually stick both the hula hoops together because you will have about maybe an inch and a half in between. So to make it a little bit bigger on the inside uh, before attaching, I did this one as well before attaching them as it looks like it's just the stuffing that makes it more plump but once you actually put them together you're not going to have it and I'm not going to have the hula hoops being exactly side by side. I'm actually going to put a wedge in between them and I'm actually since the other one I was just playing around with and everybody wanted a tutorial I had they wanted a, a functional purse. So I am going to take uh, another cutting board, same as the ones from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna cut it about, uh, probably about two inches. I'm gonna do thicker on the bottom as I get to the side, still leaving a gap. So it will actually give some, some areas to put stuff in the purse. And I will use the same concept as gluing the satin so we'll be facing the inside of the purse and putting more of the little pillow material on the side, meaning I'm going to just show you here. So you're going to have to figure out, depending on what you want to do, so it will be attached at the top. So I'm just going to, it's hard to show, it's going to be attached glued at the top together but the bottom is going to have like an opening like that. So it's gonna be on an angle. So, and this is where I'm gonna put the extra where the fur will be attached to the mat, the cutting mat, and it will go all the way around and it will meet all the way around to the sides of the white purse. So that when you look at it on the sideways, I hope you can see it from here, that when it's like that, oops that the purse will end, the cutting board will end here. Now, like I said before, please make sure that you use, you know, when you're gluing all this, I'm using hot glue using the, the I'm using glue sticks, but I'm using the, um, I'm sorry, the Gorilla glue sticks because you don't want your purse to fall apart. So you just gotta make sure you use really good glue because if you use just the regular glue sticks, they're gonna, it's gonna fall apart. So let me get this cut. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna kind of figure it out first off camera how I'm gonna cut it. Um, I will show you once uh, once I get the pieces together. So I'm gonna be using two mats. Um, I won't be using obviously all of it and I'll probably have to take a little bit of strip just because I measured it and it's a little bit, if I did glue it all the way around the hula hoop, it is a short about two inches. So just depends how high also too that you've cut to make your purse. I didn't take measurements. I just did by, uh, you know, eyeing it when I did cut the mats the first time. So let me get this started and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do glue. Okay, I just wanted to show you before I glue it in. So I took the um, chopping board. I did the satin on one side. Then I overlapped the same process as the other one. I had to do two cutting boards and then I had to add about probably five, five inches to make it long. You will have to measure it. So when you put it, this is the back of the purse. Um, actually this is, yeah, this is the back of the purse. So once it's glued properly, so it's even with this, the front is a little bit smaller. So when you dig in the purse, so I did, like I said, I did the design a little bit different than the one that I originally made just because you need it. So then you place the other one. So there is going to be the gap in between, which is fine. I'm just trying to place it on here. And I just want to, well, let me just, I just want to show you 
it's not glued in, but before I glue it all in, that you will see you have the pocket of what's actually inside the purse. Now, I did this satin part, I don't like it, so I'm just gonna go over and grab some, some material and stick it there. The flap's gonna be over it, and I'm just gonna figure that part out because it's a little bit different. But I wanted to tell you one more thing before I uh, do that is when I did this part, because it's gonna be on the sideways now, if you remember everybody, the, the, the design on the pillows go facing down. So on this part, I kind of did it 50-50 so that it aligns with the sides that it, on that side, you see the patterns going facing down and the patterns going facing down on that side. Let me get this glued up and let's get on to the front part of the purse and then we'll be done. Okay, everybody, I finally glued the part on. I actually have the little tie up here. I put some E6000 glue on the top. I didn't use the hot glue. So now I have, I have fur all over me. So I did attach a piece, another pillow onto this one. The reason being, so the front of it, I put some stuffing in it. I'm actually going to glue it right here. Once that's glue, I'm actually gonna stick some stuffing. It's hard to show you, but so it's not so flat when it flips over the purse, it has some volume to it. And then I will glue the ends together and I will flip over this way, it'll be a little bit poofy. And then I will attach it to the back of the purse. Now, once I do that, once I'm done that, I actually did the logo, it turned out really well. I cut around the corners from the stickers. The back I didn't do uh, satin, I just end up leaving it the fluffy part. And then I will glue it on the back like that. So once I get that attached to the purse and I get that part, I'm gonna just flip it around like that onto the purse and that flipped over. I'm actually going to, and I can't find my roll right now, but I did pre-cut some of these. So this is just, it's actually came on a spool and I don't know how come it disappeared. Now I'm gonna have to look for it. It's probably somewhere on the table and I cannot see it. I had a spool of, um, there is actually, I think it was like $1.99. And it actually came from Michael's and I'm going to do similar to my other one. I'm gonna line the bottom of the hoop, the sides of the hula hoop from where the first starts all the way around on both of the hula hoops. And if you notice that right here is where the hula hoops uh, attached, I didn't put them on the bottom because you will see it, is I'm actually just gonna wrap these around those marks right there. And once I get all that done, I'm just gonna put extra glue. It's a little bit sticky, but I have a feeling it's gonna fall off. So I'm gonna do some extra glue on it and put it all the way around and attach to the sides. Once I do that, I will come back and show you the finished product. So I thought I'd show you the final results. And this is the purse I actually put on the bottom, as you can see, all the way around, just up to the sides. I just put the ribbon that was from Michael's on. I did some bling here on just the lip around it. I did a little bit of side. So where the part where the hula hoop opened, I actually put the, and I just uh, put the bling on it and did around the sides as well. There's the back of it. Looks like almost like an Oreo. And then you could just see, well, it's hard to show in the camera that you can see inside and that would be it i will have some more uh, pictures posted on my facebook page under the crafty shopper please make sure like and subscribe and we'll see you soon bye